हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू सी सी लेक्चर्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रीति जगवानी आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस आर्यभट कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स विच इज टाइटल्ड एज इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस वी हैव सीन वेरियस टॉपिक्स एंड आर स्टूडेज एजेंडा इज अबाउट ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग सो लेट इज बिगिन इट फॉर्मली so if you say when i'm talking about operator overloading this is basically a topic which is which comes under the umbrella of polymorphism in c++ or maybe you know we can say polymorphism in any of the object oriented programming language so if we talk about polymorphism specifically in c++ i have already told you that polymorphism in c++ is basically of two types one is compile time and another one is a run time now looking into you know compile time polymorphism uh, in a detail we have two things here or we have two procedures under compile time polymorphism one is function overloading and another one is operator overloading and when we look into run time polymorphism we have you know we have its implementation using virtual functions and pointers so as far as compile time polymorphism is concerned we have already you know taken a, a look or we have already learned in greater detail about the uh, process of function overloading and now within this compile time polymorphism our today's topic is operator overloading so what actually this operator overloading is and how can we achieve that uh, let us take a look at that so whenever i am talking about overloading so overloading uh, if i am talking about let's say function overloading we have seen that function overloading is something that we can use the same name with different parameter list and uh, that function with the name same name and different uh, parameter list will be called according to the uh, you know uh, Uh, parameters which are being passed into that and that is uh, what you called function overloading in case of operator overloading we can say operator overloading is actually a process which is going to change the way your operators are working for example i am taking an operator let's say plus or i am taking an operator uh, maybe greater than or some other operator so changing the way your operators are working for for user defined data types for example i am not going to change how my you know addition operator or plus is going to change for you know normal integer or normal uh, you know we can say character no not like that so operators will you can using the operator overloading you can change the working of operator only for user defined data types what user defined data types i am talking here i am talking here it, a user defined data type could be an structure here or could be an uh, object also so you know more generally we apply our operator overloading on the uh, objects so basically your operator overloading is a kind of ability to provide the operators with a special meaning for a designated data type and that data type has to be a user defined data type not a built in data type so for user defined data types we can change the working of operators and that process is known as operator overloading now in order to understand uh, this concept with the help of an example let's say we are having a you know addition operator which is normally you know denoted by plus so let's take a class now specifically i'm talking about class here because i have told you already that operator overloading is not permitted on you know normal built in data types so let's take an op class for example a string and if we are taking this operator plus and passing two strings uh, into it with the help of overloading we can manage such thing that when given with two strings or two objects of string class it will concatenate these two strings just by using this plus operator so what do we do here so basically what i'm trying to say is we can use a plus operator or more specifically we can modify our addition operator in order to concatenate two strings when these two strings are actually you know objects of the class string 
so other examples could be uh, you know we can have you know arithmetic operators uh, can be overloaded for you know complex numbers so we have complex numbers and these complex numbers are represented in the form of objects of the class so these objects can be you know kind of uh, added appropriately uh, by using arithmetic operator or you know some big integers can be uh, you know uh, added by using arithmetic operators or some fractional numbers can be added by using arithmetic operators in a special way. So, this in uh, this way we can achieve our operator overloading. Now, in order to understand it more clearly, uh, let us see one example in a detailed manner. So, for example, I am having a class which is a uh, which is named as complex and it is actually as the name represents it is going to re, uh, you know show the complex numbers. So, basically it is a class whose objects will be complex numbers and let us say I am having three objects for example C1, C2 and C3 or so or maybe one, one more uh, you know kind of object could be result. So, whenever I am trying to add these two you know any two complex numbers which are objects of the uh, uh, what we can say of this complex class we can use one normal uh, our member function named as add numbers and we will you know pass c1 dot add number c2. So, with c1 object I am calling the function add numbers and I am passing the object c2 and add numbers is written in such a way that it will be take it it will be taking c1 and it will be taking c2 add these two numbers and finally it is going to produce one another you know we can say complex number uh, object named as result so isn't it a better idea so can can we directly say result is equals to c1 plus c2 result is equals to c1 plus c2 yes we can say that and that is the feature of operator overloading which is going to allow us to change how the operator works. So, here if I am writing c1 plus c2 that means I am redefining how the this addition operator or this plus operator is uh, working and then we will be adding the complex numbers of C1 and C2 by writing the code which says results is equals to C1 plus C2. So, now you can compare on one hand we have results is equals to C1 dot add numbers and within the bracket C2 as argument. So, that is one idea and another idea is results is equals to C1 plus C2. So, intuitively or we can say naturally we are going to prefer this idea in which we are saying C1 is equals to a uh, result is equals to C1 plus C2. So, now what is happening here? Here plus is actually an overloaded operator that means using our programming or using the concept of operator overloading what we have done we have actually changed the way this plus operator is going to work at least for the objects of that class which which is representing complex numbers because c1 and c2 are two objects of the complex class so plus operator is going to take these two objects will add them appropriately and the result will be stored in another variable so this is obviously a better way of doing it and this can be achieved rather than writing c1 dot add number c2 it is a better idea to write c1 plus c2 so this is what is being achieved with the help of operator overloading but please remember that operator overloading cannot be used for fundamental types like integer float character and so on because for fundamental types each and every operator is having a specific meaning so specifically for fundamental data types we cannot use operator overloading operator overloading can only be used for user defined data types like objects of the classes or maybe we can say structures as well 
so this is the you know kind of we can say a foundation that what actually operator overloading is and what kind of purposes it is going to solve for us now coming to the proper syntax for c++ operator overloading uh, in order whenever we want to overload an operator we need to use an special operator function so the name of the function is operator o p e r a t o r to spell it o p e r a t o r that's that's the function and we will be defining the function this operator function inside the class or inside the structure whose objects or whose variables objects in case of class and variables in case of structures so we will be defining this operator function inside the class or structure whose objects or variables we want the overload operator to work with so for example i uh, just now we have seen the example of a complex class and we have taken two uh, objects of that complex class which is c1 and c2 and i want objects of that complex class named as c1 and c2 are the two you know kind of we can say objects with which your overloaded operator plus is going to work with so i will be defining this operator the special keyword operator function inside the class complex so basically what i'm trying to say here is operator function is going to be a member function of the class on which uh, on whose variables this is going to work so that's that's one thing uh, despite of uh, you know uh, apart from member function this operator function could also be you know or this functionality can also be achieved with the help of a friend function but that's together uh, you know entirely a different dimension to the story so let's not get into that friend function as of now as of now we are concentrating only on the operator function as the member function and the friend function part will be you know taken care in the upcoming lectures uh so syntax i was talking about so coming to syntax we can say uh, there is a class let's say complex that's the class name and what will be the syntax within the class i am having its you know some of its functionality which is shown by dotted so specifically operator overloading will be achieved with the help of the function operator which is in the you know kind of we can say public section so public return type whatever return type we are expecting from that operator for example if i am talking about c3 is equals to c1 plus c2 so that means my c1 and c2 are two objects of the class and after addition of these two objects of the class another object is being returned as the uh, return type so here that return type will be the uh, you know kind of type of the uh, class or if i we are expecting anything else that could be a return type so public and then return type of that overloaded function operator is a keyword here so return type then the operator and then the symbol symbol of the operator which you want to overload for example if you want to overload plus then we will write plus in uh, in place of symbol if you want to you know kind of uh, overload greater than operator we will write operator and the symbol of greater than then arguments will be passed as we are you know uh, doing it in the course of a normal uh, function then we have some you know whatever functionality we will uh, we need to write in this operator uh, function and then obviously with the normal functioning of the class if we want to add something else and then we will achieve the end of the class so basically what i am trying to say i am trying to say that this operator function is going to be the member function of the class which class on which objects this operator is going to operate upon and as member function it will be defined as public then the return type operator is the keyword symbol is the uh, you know kind of symbol of the operator which you want to overload then arguments if any it is not necessary that you know uh, kind uh, every you know operator overloaded function is having some arguments we can have arguments or we cannot have arguments as in the course of normal action 
normal functions then we have the functionality. So that is what about the syntax of the function of operator, uh, operator overloaded uh, functions. So here symbol as I have told you could be plus plus could be plus minus or less than greater than operator that is a keyword that we need to insert return type is the return type of the function and arguments is the arguments passed to the functions if they are uh, if they are present so that's what about the syntax so after syntax let's try to have one you know complete program uh, now before jumping to the complete program let me mention here that whenever i'm talking about operator overloading so basically either i can you know kind of uh, overload the unary operators or I can overload the uh, binary operators. Ternary operators cannot be, ternary operator cannot be overloaded. So, please recall uh, whenever we have discussed our, you know, types of operators on the basis of numbers of operands uh, in our initial lectures of the series, we have seen that there are three kinds of operators. One is unary operator, another one is binary and the third one is uh, ternary operator. Now, in operator overloading, there are some restrictions and among those restrictions, one of the restriction is this, that ternary operator cannot be overloaded. So, here, let us be very, you know, kind of clear enough that either we can use unary operator or we can use, uh, we can overload binary operators. Now, coming to unary operator first and then binary operators we will be covering in the upcoming lectures. So, unary operators whenever I am talking about, so let us take the operator plus plus which is kind of you know uh, increment uh, operator which is uh, going to increment the variable uh, with which it is operating by 1. Now, if you remember this, oh, uh, this operator which is plus plus is you know kind of is it can be uh, used in two forms. One is the prefix form another one is the postfix form. So, either we can say you know kind of a plus plus is also valid or we can say plus plus a that is also possible. So, this unary operator plus plus or increment operator to be specific uh, can be used as prefix as well as uh, postfix. So, here first we will be covering the version of prefix and then later we will be jumping how we can use or how we can overload the postfix uh, increment operator. So, here in this we have used one class uh, which is named as count and this count is having only you know kind of one private variable inside the object if I am talking about it is having only one private variable which is named as uh, value and within the public section we need to write the code which is used to overload the operator plus plus. So, here if we can see the whole structure of the class or whole code of the class we can say class count and within that class we have private integer value. So, only one variable which is of type integer in the private section then we have uh, you know kind of uh, Next section is public section and within this public section as usual I am taking uh, you know I am uh, initializing uh, one constructor of count as a 5. So, count uh, colon uh, then value 5 this is a normal constructor in which the value of the variable value is initialized to 5 that means I have made here an object in which there is a value which there is a variable named as value whose value has been assigned as 5. This is what this statement is for. Now, coming to how to achieve overloading. So, uh, in order to overload the increment operator plus plus when used as prefix, please be specific. Here we are looking at the prefix version. What I am going to do? I will say void. That is the return type. This is in the public section then void is the return type because it is not going to return anything operator is the keyword then the symbol symbol is plus plus and the argument list is empty if you can see in the last three lines the argument list is empty because we are not passing any argument in this now 
the main thing comes here as what this operator is supposed to do. This operator is actually supposed to you know increment the you know value of the variable value or value of the variable value by 1 that is what the you know we can say function of this. But here we will be operating or we will be you know kind of implementing this operator not on the normal integer but on an object of class count. So, we have written void operator plus plus no argument list and within the you know kind of we can say within the functionality it is saying plus plus value. Now, coming to the next part of code how are we going to use that. So, in order to use that we have one display function which says uh, void display c out and the value of count. So, basically uh, I can say one constructor and two member functions. So, constructor, constructor is there in order to initialize the value of count then we have you know one function operator or one function to overload the operator and another function to display the new value of count and that is it for this particular class. So, here uh, coming to the main section we have uh, integer main in this main section I have you know taken one object of this count class named as count 1 and on this count 1 I will be operating or I will be calling the operator function and in order to call the that operator function or more specifically I can say in order to call that you know uh, that operator plus plus and remember we have talked about the prefix operator. So, here I am writing plus plus count 1. So, basically one you know kind of we can say constructor has been utilized then plus plus count 1 is utilizing the operator function then count 1 dot display is actually utilizing the display function. So, as expected what uh, you know as a result what I am going to have. So, we have started if you remember or if you can see here we have started with 5 as the value of the private variable which is available inside the count and here I have taken plus plus count 1 and then uh, we have you know kind of displayed or we have printed the value of the variable with the help of uh, uh, the function display which is uh, you know kind of displaying the value of the private variable. So, the value here I am going to get as 6. So, 5 we have initialized and after giving plus plus count 1 the it is going to give me uh, 6. So, basically whenever or wherever I am using plus plus count 1 the void operator or the operator function plus plus is being called and this is going to increase the value attribute for the object count by uh, 1. So, basically this example is going to work only when I am talking about plus plus to be used as uh, prefix. So, let me recap this program once again. So, it is taking one private integer variable, one constructor to you know kind of initialize the value of uh, count. Uh, then we have uh, you know one overloaded operator which is void operator plus plus and it is incrementing the uh, value by 1 and in order to show the incremented value or the previous value could be uh, we are using one display variable. So, after you know uh, assigning the object or assigning the value to the object uh, we have uh, you know uh, called plus plus count 1. Now, please notice here we are talking about plus plus count 1. So, that function has been called in the form of an operator. So, here we have overloaded the operator plus plus and this operator in its overloaded form is now you know working on the object of the class count which is named as count 1 and then as a normal member function we have called display and we have got the answer as 6. But as I have told you that above example or this particular example is going to work 
only when this plus plus or increment operator is going to be used as a uh, prefix. So, now the one natural question comes up in the mind that prefix is fine we have covered that. What about when we want to use this post uh, this plus plus operator to work as a post fix operator. So, in that situation we need to you know we can say uh, uh, tweak our syntax a bit and the syntax of the overloaded operator will be white operator plus plus and an argument in the bracket which is of type integer and then the similar code. Now, please be very specific or please remember that the integer inside the parenthesis is used for using the unary operator as the post fix. It is not a function parameter although it looks like a function parameter, but we have to be very very careful that whenever we are talking about the post fix version of the unary operator, we need to pass integer inside the parenthesis just to make sure that unary operator will be used as post fix. This integer is not a function parameter here. Now, you know, uh, it is not sufficient enough to just, you know, give the syntax. So, we will be definitely, you know, covering a complete program involving, you know, postfix version as well as the prefix version of the operator plus plus in our later classes. And here is a list, a list of references which is being, pre uh, which is, which are being used in order to prepare this lecture. I hope you had fruitful learning. Thanks for watching.